just want to add something. Don't, please do. Um, if anything, uh, maybe it was like thinking about your, uh, your, your, your uh, note about place, but it's just anytime uh, you're writing about something that is not widely covered already, then there is that sense of like um, worrying that, um, you know, people always ask, like, what do people in Chinatown think about? Like, there is that question of like, uh, it's, you want to make sure that you're, there is this notion of like wanting to make sure this, uh, whatever, you're, you're telling only the story of your characters, but you want to make sure that it's understood that it's not sort of like representing everything about it, right? or that it's like filtered through the lens of um, your character and everything. So, um, so I, I, I'm very curious, um, in, in, um, uh, when describing my my book, I I always uh, I usually say that it's a uh, it's at the intersection of House on Mango Street and Citizen, right? It deals with racism, but it also is a family story. So, what books would you say inspired you to write your current books, and and, and then what books inspired you to write? Taking a stab at yeah. this one, I'll jump in. Um, so, I the first books that come to mind in terms of inspiring me to write this book. I mean, I, I was inspired to write this book because I had this question, and I was like, I think this is a book. Um, but the books that helped me know that um, I could pull it off in this way that melds uh, like aspects of memoir and also interviews and reporting were um, actually the book, I, I do not speak French, so please excuse my mispronunciation, but um, Bringing Up Bebe. Is anybody familiar with that? Oh, Pamela Crocker. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah, my partner at the time and I listened to that book while when I was pregnant, and we both loved it. It's really good. I think it gets, um, you know, it's like, oh, this kind of privileged white woman in Paris. like, But the, it's, it's really well written in that she brings her reporter's eye to the culture, to like Parisian culture and how they raise kids. And reading that book or listening to that book helped me see like, oh, I, can, I can approach motherhood as a reporter. And let me just pause to say, I think I was caught up in some of the stigma around writing about mothering. Like I felt like it's not serious, it's not a serious endeavor. I'm gonna be thought of as a mommy blogger but I'm a reporter and I'm trying to approach this through a reproductive justice frame. And so I had a little bit of hesitation around taking on the topic, but reading Druckerman's book helped me see like, you know, you can bring a kind of rigor to this investigation. And, and she really pulled it off, so I was inspired by that. Um, there's a book by Rebecca Walker called Baby Love. Um, that's about her pregnancy and birth, it's, it's memoir. Um, and then also uh, something like Beautiful by Asha Bandele is the story of her um, having a child, being a single mom, raising her daughter while her husband is incarcerated and then deported. And so reading these books by black women reflecting on motherhood helped because I, um, there are so few, it felt like, and reading this, these books was really a revelation like, oh, if I want to read books like this, other people want to read books like this, and maybe I can contribute to this canon. That felt really important. Um, and also, like, Waiting in the Wings by Sheree Muraba, which is, like, um, a portrait of queer motherhood, I think is the subtitle. Um, similar, like, I, I needed to read all these books written by women in the margins who we don't think of as the typical motherhood writer. And reading those books helped me see, like, I can do this, and there's a need for more of this literature. Um, and then, and then a lot of scholarship on Black motherhood, like Patricia Hill Collins. I quote her throughout. Audre Lorde, her essay "Man Child" um, about raising her son was brilliant. Um, Bell Hooks writing on patriarchy, a will, uh, the will to change. So there was just a lot of like Black women, uh, Black feminist scholarship that was critical to to the work as well. 